Hello everyone, in this guide, I'll show you how to get the Unlikely Pathfinder achievement and complete the Dwarven Legs quest if you haven't already. This video assumes you have already started the Hidden City of Beregar quest. If you haven't, you can find a link to a full guide in the description of the video. The Unlikely Pathfinder achievement was introduced in 2010 and is now finally obtainable. CIP claims it has always been obtainable, and recent changes have allowed it to be obtained in a way not originally intended. Since players have started unlocking this achievement, CIP decide to leave it as is. If you haven't done the Royal Rescue mission yet, which rewards Dwarven Legs, you'll need a few items. They are 6 nails, 4 wood, a saw, firebug, hammer, bricklayer's kit, rope, shovel, and a melee weapon. You'll also need 2 metal fittings which can be purchased in Burrigar during the quest. If you have done the Royal Rescue before, you won't need any of these and can go right for the achievement. I'll show the path starting from Yalahar. You want to head to the southwest and do the foreign quarter. Head to the boat NPC here and travel to Fenrock. You'll need a pick, as usual, to get through the Tortoise Cave, and then we'll be taking the minecart to Beregar. If you haven't done the Royal Rescue quest yet, I'll show you how to complete it now. If you've already completed it, you can skip ahead in the video on how to complete the achievement. To start the Royal Rescue quest, you'll have to ask Emperor Rihal for a mission. Head back towards the entrance of Beregar and speak to Zorlosh and say tunneling. He'll point you towards a book which can be found in the library. The library can be found to the southeast of the Emperor down a set of stairs. Head to the north and you'll see the room filled with bookcases. In this room, you can obtain the book using the last shelf in the second row from the bottom. After receiving this book, you should buy the two metal fittings from Harog in the middle of the main halls. Then, head to the south, where you will find several minecarts. Use the minecart farthest to the south that will take you to the deeper mines. There are several minecarts in the deeper mines that will require tasks to get past. The first one will have to use the hammer on the water in front of the minecart. This will use three of the wood. You will then have to use the saw on the last piece of wood, then use the hammer again on the same area, and this will consume the two metal fittings, wooden ties, and six nails. You can now use the minecart to pass this first obstruction. After using the minecart, you will end up next to the second minecart on the other side of the water. You will then use this minecart to move on to the next area. In this area, you will have to use the bricklayer's kit on the arch to repair it. After repairing the arch, you will use a pick on the pile of rocks blocking the path, and this will clear them. Use the minecart, and you will again be teleported across the area to the next cart. Using the new cart will take you to a bridge. Go backwards into the tunnel and down the stairs. You can then follow my path through the caves until you find the next ladder to go up and another minecart. Using the minecart will take you to an area with several levers. In this area, you'll have to use the minecart to the north and push it across the track. Once you have reached the end of the track, you must use your shovel on the piles of coal to fill the minecart. Use the minecart again to push it back across the track. Once you have reached the opposite side, you must use your shovel again to unload the coal. Use the firebug on the furnace, then walk back and forth over the bellow quickly to power up the crane. Once you've done this, you can use the lever I show in the middle of the tracks to cause the minecart to appear. Using the minecart will finally take you to the area to obtain the unlikely pathfinder achievement. To adjust the position of the rail on the white tiles, you must move the lever to the right. While the lever is in the right position, the rail tile will constantly change. You will then have to flip the lever back to the left once it's on the right configuration to lock it in place. You can follow the setup I use to configure all of the rails correctly. You will want the first tile turning to the left, you will then adjust the next rail to bring the track to the north, and the rail afterwards to continue to the left. You will then want to adjust the final rail to point to the left towards the tunnel. It's difficult to explain, so you can slow down the video if necessary to see the proper positions. Once you have all the rails positioned correctly, go back to the start and use the minecart. You will be teleported to Khazar Dun and receive the unlikely Pathfinder achievement. If you want to keep watching, I'll show you how to complete the Dwarven Legs quest while we are here. Using the rail car in Khazar Dun will take you back to the entrance of Burgar. Head out the quest door to the south to find the main stairs back up into the city. Following all the stairs up will take you back to the main hall where you can use the southernmost minecart. 
Using the minecart this time, we'll take you right back to the room we were just in, where the rails must be configured correctly. You can then follow my adjustments of the track for the next steps. You must adjust all the rails to allow the minecart to exit the north tunnel. Now, when you use the minecart, you'll end up in a new area. You'll have to head to the north and go up some stairs to find the NPC Talum. Say hi, mission, yes, and he will tell you about his brothers that have been trapped in the troll's hideout. Use the minecart again to end back in the rail puzzle room. Again, copy my configurations to point the rails in the correct direction. This time, we'll be exiting to the northeast, which will take us to the troll's hideout. You will find many furious trolls and troll legionnaire in this area. First, you'll go up the stairs to find a teleporter that you must enter. Once you enter this teleporter, go to the east and down the stairs. Head to the southwest to immediately go down another set of stairs. In the northern part of this room, there's a chest which you can use to get the prison cell key. Once you retrieve the key, you'll go back up both sets of stairs to end up in the area where we first started. This time, you'll go to the south and up the stairs here. Follow this path to the east and you will have to fight your way across several bridges. Once you reach the end of the path, drop down the hole. Heading to the north and fighting through a few more trolls will bring you to an area with a bamboo cage. You'll have to use the melee weapon you brought to break the cage. Once this is done, you can levitate down to the lower level. Here, you will land in another cage with an orc berserker. Kill it and break the bars again so you can escape. Once you've escaped, follow the path to the northwest and drop down the stairs. Go to the end of this floor and you'll find the NPC Rehan in a cage. Say hi, mission, and you will give him the prison key we found in the chest. Once you've done this, you can follow my route back to the start of the troll hideout. We are just backtracking the same way we came in. You will go through the teleporter to exit and use the minecart which will take you back to the puzzle room. Using this first minecart in the room will then take you back to the main hall in Burgar. Head all the way to the north, greeting the Emperor again, and say mission. He will reward you with the Dwarven Legs. Hopefully this video is able to help you get the newly discovered Unlikely Pathfinder achievement and complete the Dwarven Legs quest. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting!